Today is called Giving Tuesday, the Tuesday after Thanksgiving when people are encouraged to give to nonprofits. Now, some Linwood Elementary School students took that mission to heart. Kara 7 North Sound reporter Joanna Small was there when those second graders handed over some hard earned money for animals in need. There are 15 new sets of paws at Paws in Linwood this Giving Tuesday. Good boys and good girls transported here from a kill shelter, this time in Texas. But this dog delivery is one of many the nonprofit receives every year. Texas, California, Louisiana, where we're able to take in animals from overcrowded shelters that would be at risk of euthanasia and bring them here to the Pacific Northwest and be able to adopt them out in amazingly short order. Because each dog has a bio online and on his or her kennel, explaining to prospective pet parents why this furry friend is the perfect fit. Every year for more than a decade, Jenny Warmouth's second grade students at Spruce Elementary School are the proud authors of many of those bios. This class penned one for cider. Oh my goodness, it's the dog that we wrote about. It's cider. We came up with the idea of them writing adoption advertisements for the more difficult to place dogs and cats here at Paws. Most of my kids live with it within about a mile of the shelter. But there's more. We are here today for a very special reason. The kids fundraised $387.57 for Paws and handed over their check today. They're very, very, very excited. It's the most money they've ever seen all in one place. So we actually counted it out penny by penny. That was like my first. Have to do first time that I ever did times. Julius Burke is the brains behind the line. Guess who is as sweet as apple cider? All by myself. Julius and his classmates are thrilled to support cider and the rest of the dogs and cats at Paws. In fact, he says he's the grateful one on this Giving Tuesday. Pretty thankful. It makes me very proud. It's it's what I am most proud of in my career. In Linwood, Joanna Small, Cairo 7 News.